guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am here with a very high demanded video which is my eyebrow tutorial. Lots and lots and lots of you guys always ask how I do my eyebrows, what products I use on my eyebrows. So I'm hoping today this video will answer all of your questions. I actually do my eyebrows myself. I am a qualified petition and I worked as a petition for four years before I went into the world of blogging and all the other, other industries that I worked in. So I loved eyebrows, I was always very good at them. So I do look after my own eyebrows. Overall, there is many products to use on eyebrows. You can use gels, you can use pencils, you can use powders, you can use setting gels. It's really just personal preference. I use a mix of powders and gels, mainly for going out and then more so just a powder base for during the day. So I'm going to tell you all that in this video and um, what I use and what I recommend. So if you want to find out how I fill in my eyebrows, what are my tips and tricks for the perfectly arched eyebrow, then just stay watching. Okay, so as you can see, I have my right eyebrow done and my left eyebrow isn't. I have done one eyebrow to show you the difference and um, how it can make the eye look and um, how it can shape the face and how different both eyes look when one is filled in and one isn't. So the reason why I like this type of eyebrow look, especially for weekends, is first and foremost I have a nice high arch here compared to this eyebrow with no arch. It's elongated as well, so it just comes down to the end of my eye, where this one doesn't. And overall, this eyebrow just looks healthier and nicer, and I use two different types of products to get this look, which is a mix of gel and powder. So starting off with powders, powders is definitely one for beginners, um, it's one for people who don't have a lot of time in the mornings and it's also great for the more natural look. The first palette that I'm going to talk about is the one that I've used for absolute ever and I always go back to it is the HD Brow Palette. This is in 002 Foxy. It has a range of the lighter colours, the darker colours and your wax. Um, they're about 45 euros. You can get them in most salons that stock HD Brow Palette and the palettes and in my opinion they are definitely one of the best powders on the market. The second powder that I recommend is the uh, Brow Pow from The Bam and this eyeshadow powder is one that is really long lasting. Um, it's the colour Dark Brown. I've used this a good bit. It's also the perfect size for popping in your handbag because let's face it that HD Brow Palette one is a little bit big for the handbag but the Bam eyebrow powder is really really good in my opinion and it's also a little bit cheaper than the um, HD brow palette. So moving on to gel liners and um, there's lots of different types on the market and I think our plumber has just arrived. So as I was saying and um, there's lots of different gel liners and um, for the brows available on the market and my three favorites are as follows. First and foremost is the Anastasia de Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. It is super good quality, long lasting, and not only that, it comes in a huge range of colors, which I think is um, a real bonus, especially because there's so many different hair types and colors out there. The second one that is brilliant is the Crown Brush Gel Liner. You can use this on your brows, and you can use it as a gel liner, you can wet it down, dampen it, and use it as a more intense eyeliner. But for Crown Brush, this is definitely one of the best products I bought out last year, and it's also much cheaper than the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And then finally, I have the new brow liner gels from Inglot. They're tiny, they're really, really, really small, so great again for your handbag and um, really nice on the brows. And the color I have is number 20, which is like a dark brown. Okay, so I don't think I've ever been this close to the camera before, but I think I need to be to show you brow tutorial in depth. So as I was saying at the beginning, um, this eyebrow here is the filled in one, obviously. And um, we can see that the arch looks higher 
it just looks like a little bit thicker like this one looks really sparse at the beginning there's not much shape to it now people will say that they like my eyebrows naturally um, and thank you that is the one feature of my own that I actually like I got really good eyebrows from my dad and if you ever see me share a picture of my dad on social media it's so funny because he has the exact same eye colour and eyebrow shape and everyone always says it when they see my Instagram they're like oh my god it's the exact same eyes as your dad and I do. So thank you dad for giving me nice eyebrows. For going out eyebrows I always like them a little bit more dramatic and a little bit more longer lasting and that's exactly what I'm going to show you here. So starting off with my Anastasia Le Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow. I'm gonna take a little bit of this product onto my brush. With the eyebrow, I always start at my arch. So what I tend to do is follow the, the guideline here. So I start on the very inner part of my arch. Very, very gentle, feather-like motions. Now we can see that it's starting to take shape but it's still nowhere near as arched as my right one. So this is where the skill kicks in. So what I always do is, and this sometimes is hard to get right, I go from the top of the brow and I draw up like that. See? And then slowly but surely in feather like motions I swing it around like so and then rejoin into my eyebrow. Now I am lucky that I already have kind of arched eyebrows, but that is how I would do it if I were you and you didn't have arched eyebrows, is just draw the kind of arch that you would like and then fill it in with the rest of your brow. So then what we wanna do is just straighten up the uh, line we've just created. And then I just fill in until I'm happy. So that is the only part of the eyebrow that I use the gel liner for and um, because I like to use powder for the rest of the eyebrow in particular here so it doesn't look too harsh. So at this point I always swap brushes. So this little angle brush here doesn't have any of the gel liner on it and it's also a little bit bigger so it's great, it's much more fluffier for the um, start of the eyebrow. So we just want to fluff this up a little bit. So taking my HD Brow palette and this darker color here, I'm now going to fill in the beginning of the eyebrow. So what I like to do is draw a line underneath, like so, and then I just fluff upwards, feather like strokes again. And as you're doing them, I always kind of double check the brows together just to make sure that they match. So that is the powder and the gel applied. And now what I'm going to do is take a little spoolie brush, which looks like this. And then you're just going to brush through the brows ever so lightly just to take away the heavy excess and make it look that little bit more not natural, because let's face it, they're not natural, but try and make it look a little less harsh. So I always just brush upwards and then brush through the eyebrow. And you really are just taking away the excess here. Next step, to give it that real defined look like we have here and we don't really have here, you use um, either a concealer, a highlighter, or a white eyeshadow. What I use is the YSL Couture Eye Primer in Fair. And basically this is an eyeshadow primer that I use all over my lids normally. And then I also tidy up my brows with this. So using the YSL um, primer, I just slowly but surely apply this And then I draw a neat line underneath as well, like so. And what that does is it just really tidies up the brows. Some people like to go across the top. I think it looks a little harsh. 
so I tend to just do the bottom. So after um, you apply it, you remove the excess from the brush and then slowly but surely you just blend it downwards. And that's what gives you the really, really clean cut eyebrow. Is when you apply like a highlighter or a concealer or something under the eye. I just love the YSL primer. I think it's perfect for that. And then the final step is setting the brows. So after I fill them in and they look great and I am I'm always really happy with them, but then over the night, of course, the night, if someone brushes off you or you're kissing your boyfriend or you're taking off a jumper, they can move on your smudge. So that's why you want to set them. So using the Gimme Brow from Benefit, I just put a small bit onto the brush and ever so slightly, I just brush through the eyebrow setting it, making sure all the little hairs are sticking down. And after applying your Gimme Brow, that is it. The whole look is complete. And now we can see the before and the after. So there you have it guys. That is exactly how I fill in my eyebrows during the day. I just tone it down a little bit and use um, no gel and just powders. Now these eyebrows still might be a little bit dark for some people and that's totally okay. You can just do the same routine but just on a lesser scale or maybe a less heavy hand. Just for me, I like really, really filled in eyebrows and because I'm dark, and my eyes will be my main feature. I always go over the top of my brows. So this is how I do it. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any further questions, you can ask me below in the comment section. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If there's any videos that you would like to see on my YouTube channel, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to hope to video more in 2016. And yeah, oh my God, I forgot to mention I'm engaged. So <laughs> I got engaged, as most of you will know from my Maldives uh, vlog. Uh, I got engaged on the 15th of December in the Maldives and I'm absolutely over the moon and that's my ring which you'll probably see you've seen throughout the video and um, I'm really happy I'm planning my wedding at the moment while well, I'm planning <laughs> women always say that we're planning our wedding at the moment so uh, really excited to get married uh, next summer and yeah so that's it for me guys I'll see y'all soon